Hello, my name is Sam. Um, I'm a computer science undergraduate at the University of York and I'm here courtesy of those pesky dames to talk about women, how they're represented in, um, well not just computer science but technology in general in this sort of burgeoning front of um, scientific related disciplines. Looking at the disparity there, how they can be better represented. I'm not very good, you've probably noticed, I'm not very good at these kind of stream of consciousness videos, so you'll see all this snappy uh, William Ray Johnson style editing as I try and, you know, bring some coherence to these sort of disparate, um, half baked ideas that I've got. So, yeah, first up, um, women as programmers, it's not intuitive, you think generally male, and it's the idea of this kind of reclusive sort of stoic, slightly awkward, anti-social man principally, or boy, teenager, in the basement, uh, tapping away. And the figures loosely represent that. The national average in 2007 was 19.4% of undergraduates, first year undergraduates, were female. Um, at York, University of York, only 16.4% of the undergraduates were female. So that kind of fits with our, with our sort of preconception. So surely you'd be inclined to think that um, programming and computers has always been a male-dominated field. But it wasn't always the case, and that's a very interesting thing that I found out. If we look back into history at some of the early proponents of uh, computer science, I know it's you know, shades of grey where you're talking about famous computer scientists, there's only you know, so much room for manoeuvre. But the person first reputed to have developed a computer programme uh, was Ada Lovelace. Uh, she was a contemporary of Charles Babbage, uh, who is renowned for inventing the uh, difference engine and the uh, analytical analytical engine, both programmable mechanical computers that were used to, um, I think the, the difference engine was used to calculate coefficients for polynomial equations. Ada Lovelace was a contemporary of Charles Babbage. Um, and in editing some notes for his analytical engine, uh, contributed some uh, of her own thoughts and ideas to them. Her contribution was uh, the development of an algorithm, which is sort of the core uh, mathematical component of a computer program, um, for Bernoulli numbers. That is seen in the eyes of many computer scientists as the first computer program developed by a woman. Uh, the other person was Grace Hopper, who was a rear admiral in the US Navy. Uh, and uh, a key player in the development of the compiler, which is an important program for converting source code into machine code so it can be run on a computer system. And she developed COBOL, uh, which was a very popular language at the time. This is the 1950s. Uh, it became the, uh, the language that everyone had to know if they wanted to develop business-oriented applications. So a big boon, two major proponents in the development of computer science as a field were female. Um, and a fascinating article, really very interesting, I thought, um, was released by the Stanford Department for Gender Studies. It outlined the fact that, so certainly between the 40s, 50s and 60s, programming as a discipline was considered a female op occupation, which I found absolutely fascinating. Um, and I'll put the, the link will appear here or down there or wherever it is, wherever links appear these days. Um, to the article, but it, sadly it wasn't, uh, although uh, programmers were female, it wasn't out of any respect to the fact that they were essentially intellectual equals or equally capable of developing ideas on computer systems. It was simply because it was seen as a clerical task on the same level as um, uh, being a, a PA or a secretary was seen. And the actual, the brain work, as it were, was in, was in actually developing the computer systems. And then this kind of secondary task of uh, writing programs was relegated to, to teams of women who, you know, it was pictured would sit at their typewriters and, you know, chit chat and apply makeup. And, you know, so really it was something that was determined by the, um, the male staffers and the program leaders of the time. And as reports started to trickle through, worrying reports that this programming lark wasn't just a simple type the words in and send it off to the men to go and compute, that it actually involved um, a lot of technical and logical thought, 
then you, all of a sudden the you know the hierarchy is disrupted and programming shifted towards um, being an occupation aimed at men because it was logical and mathematic and a, a really thorough intellectual engineering discipline not suitable for women so it's really a you know a, a disappointing turn and another example which you know in the 50s and 60s maybe we've come to accept that they were fairly backward times as far as gender equality went but that there was um you know a really rigorous intellectual discipline that was taken from the hands of women and put into the hands of men just because it seemed to fit it at the time which i thought was rather upsetting um and so we're kind of left today with this i this notion that um programming is aimed at men um, and it's become part and parcel of this, this idea of programming being a very kind of technical uh, tinkering, a bit sort of obsessive kind of engineering uh, affair. But what actually is programming? I mean, that's a useful thing to to look at. The way I see programming is it isn't about the kind of the uh, the kind of minutiae, the kind of really arcane um, sort of readouts and kind of textual descriptions. It's the idea of taking are a number of discrete, small, encapsulated steps and applying them in a way or organising them in a way that allows something much larger to be developed from it. Uh, a good example is always used is uh, developing a recipe. You look at a recipe book, it's, you know, take these ingredients, you know, beat eggs for 15 minutes, I don't cook much, beat eggs for 15 minutes, cook this for half an hour, um, do this until golden brown. Lots of conditions, lots of imperative statements over how to take um, your sort of uh, first principles and create something, a bigger, uh, a kind of bigger idea. And so that, as a discipline, it draws on logic, problem solving, uh, a very strong puzzle component, which by no means, by no means, should be relegated to uh, men, should be seen as a male discipline. And I think everyone should be encouraged to learn how to program and move away from being a consumer of technology uh, to an actual producer, to being able to, to take an idea and actually build it and taking this medium that we have and uh, using it as a platform for creative people, for enterprising people to conceive of their ideas and to make something of themselves. And by no means should that be uh, a male only occupation. Um, so I hope that was in, of interest to you. And again, thanks to those pesky dames for letting me talk about this. Just co comments, discussions, whatever it is in the in the blog. I don't I don't vlog much, but that's what they say, isn't it? Put your comments down there um, and enjoy.